So in the last video, I left you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger. And what we found out about the car is that the car has some frame damage in the front end over here. Now, I know, I know, I know I should have checked the car once we were buying it. But first things first, we bought the car in the nighttime. So I didn't really get to have the best look. Secondly, the guy selling the car said there was no structural damage. He also did mention that there was no frame damage or anything like that. So I kind of just took his word for it. And then from then on, I realized that I probably shouldn't have done that. But yes, the biggest thing about frame damage is that it is expensive to fix. I did go and find a shop that can take care of all the damages that I have with the frame. And I'll tell you right now, just to fix that, it isn't cheap. And secondly, I pretty much got scammed. I absolutely got finessed. The car does not have any airbags inside. The dash airbag is blown. The two curtain airbags on the car have been removed as well. So those are completely gone and I'm gonna have to go and replace those. And the only airbag in the car right now is the steering wheel airbag, but I don't even know if that works. So yeah, it does suck because those things are pretty expensive to replace and get fixed. And we're gonna have to go through all of that. Moving on, in today's video, we are going to try to turn the interior back to how it was OEM. We're gonna replace the seatbelts, we're gonna replace the dash, we're gonna replace the airbags. We're also gonna replace any necessary airbag module. We're also gonna tackle the clock spring issue. And I went ahead and picked up an aftermarket steering wheel. You guys will get to see that just in a bit. So let's get started and hop straight into it. Okay, so this airbag hasn't gone off. This airbag looks like it is good. Um, if it had gone off, I think I'd see some of the parts melted and it isn't melted on here. So I'm assuming that there's still an airbag in here and I'm assuming that it's still good. But by the looks of it, there is no clock spring on this car. They just completely removed it. Um, I'm gonna take off the steering wheel and see a bit more, but I don't think there is a clock spring on this. Okay, so last time I went ahead and picked up the camera, we just got the steering wheel off. And what we realized is the previous owner didn't have a clock spring in the car, so there was literally nothing behind this wheel. So this is the clock spring that I originally bought. I had to go ahead and buy another one. I got this off of a part out build, but this clock spring right over here has this green tab on the back. So what this is right here is this is an angle sensor, and the one that I bought doesn't have an angle sensor. I bought this clock spring right over here for $250. I got this whole clock spring unit for $200. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to return this because this angle sensor alone is $350. And if I were to add it to this one, I would just be spending a lot more, which makes no sense. But luckily I got this part for $200 and I won't have to spend the 500 on this clock spring right over here. You wanna fish these wires and be very careful when fishing these wires through the steering wheel. Cause these wires are super delicate. You don't wanna mess it up. And then you wanna go ahead and put the bolt back just like this. And then this blue wire right over here from your cruise control harness just grounds on the back of the airbag. I believe right over here. Um, we're just gonna plug that in as well. And then from there, Pretty simple, orange goes into orange and black goes into black. And then without moving the clock spring, this should just click in. Click in three times. So it should click in one, two, and three. Okay, so now that we went ahead and got the airbag in, um, we're gonna go and replace this module right over here. What this is, is an airbag module. This should reset the light on the car. And this should also let the car know that there is an airbag active inside of the car right now. Um, this I got for super cheap as well from the part out car. And I hope it's easy to replace. I'm gonna assume it isn't. I'm gonna assume something goes wrong because that's usually what happens when working on cars. From the looks of it, everything has plugged in. Everything does look good. I'm just very scared and very nervous to when I go ahead and turn on the car because I really do want those lights to go. And I'm hoping that once I plug this in and now this is done, those lights on the dash will go. There is a 10 millimeter bolt that goes right over here. Another 10 millimeter bolt right over here. I believe there's another one down here. 
and then another one down here so four bolts in total should remove the head unit in order to get these pieces off very simple you just got to pry them off um, there's no screws or bolts holding those back so that's good and then other than that when these four are removed this whole head unit should just pop out The dash is pretty much in the car and I didn't really get to record much because it was a bit of a nightmare getting everything to line up and it just took a lot longer than normal. I'm really happy that we got the dash in. I'm happy that we got rid of those ugly gauges that we had over there. And I'm happy that the airbag module, that airbag and this airbag right over here is all replaced. Now this right here isn't the OEM steering wheel. I also did pick up an aftermarket steering wheel for the car. This is a carbon fiber steering wheel that I picked up from racing these. I'll have it linked in the description below for those of you guys interested. But I decided to go the carbon fiber route just because it looks a lot nicer on the car and the steering wheel just feels so much better to hold. So I'm super happy with this pickup right here. This steering wheel was $530. But right now we're gonna go finish up the interior and I'm pretty happy because it's all coming together. a functioning seatbelt that actually retracts back and I have to repeat everything I just did on the other side over there um, and it isn't too hard but it's just it's very time consuming and it's very annoying to get some of the bolts and screws out finally we have a seatbelt a working seatbelt Okay, so I think it's about day five of the whole entire interior restoration. So we got everything in. We got the airbags in, we got all the necessary modules, we got the clock spring, we got the dash. Everything is pretty much wrapped up on the interior. So I'm super happy and super excited about that. But the issue that we're now running into is that the car doesn't start. I'm gonna go in and insert a clip of us trying to start it last night. Okay, so this is the current state of the car. It just, it won't start no idea what's going on but yeah it just won't start as you guys can see the car cranks but it's just not starting i'm not really sure what that is we did read the codes on the car and i'm getting this code right over here this code is just a generic startability malfunction code so it could be a number of things uh the list is pretty long but in episode three you guys are going to see us start with the battery we're going to be replacing the battery it could be something as small as that or it could be something that the previous owner did or it could be something a bit more challenging and a bit more expensive again i'm really going to hope it's the battery because that is a pretty simple fix and i want to be driving the car i haven't really driven the car in a a month and the car has been sitting and we pretty much just backed into the garage because it's too cold to be working on the car outside now so hopefully episode three we get the car started hopefully episode three we can go ahead and drive the car around i'm gonna end off today's video right over here we did get a lot done and it's getting pretty long remember to subscribe with your post notifications on and drop a like on today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next video stop till i hear him say oh, oh.